When you become parent, you realize how important it is to have control over what our children watch on TV and online. Nowadays, there are so many streaming options available and it can be a little bit difficult to keep track of what our kids are watching. Today, we will talk about Netflix and how you can keep your children safe of content they should not watch. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Joyce and in today's video, I will show you four ways that will help you keep your children safe from unwanted content on Netflix. Netflix has made parental controls easier for us in their platform. The first thing that I suggest is to set up a Netflix Kids profile. A Netflix Kids profile is intended for kids under the age of 12 years old and the options available for this profile will be TV shows and movies for kids under this age. Another difference from the normal profile is that when your children are in their Netflix Kids profile, it won't allow them to have access to account settings or Netflix mobile games. The other difference is that they have an icon that says kids and you can change their profile picture to one of the available ones to differentiate it. This profile is also more kid friendly and it is set up so they don't have to press play every time another episode starts. It will automatically play it for them after a few seconds. But of course, you can change this by going to you can set up a different profile according to age following these steps. On your computer, go to manage profile and select add profile. Type the name of the family member the profile is for and to use the Netflix Kids experience, select Kids. Select continue and the new profile will show up on your account. Once you have set up your different profiles, you can switch between them by doing this. Go to manage profile and click on the profile. Under maturity settings, click edit and enter your account password when completed. Check the box to display the Netflix kids experience, then click on save. How to set restrictions based on their ages? Now that you have created a different Netflix profile for your kids according to their ages, you can begin to customize their viewing experiences by restricting content according to its maturity rating. But one important thing to mention is that these settings are only available from a web browser. Let's talk a bit about maturity ratings. A rating is a letter and or a number that will let you know to which age a movie or TV show is appropriate to. For example, PG-13 and R in the United States. Now, be aware that there are different rating systems according to the country that you live in. But I will leave a link down below so you can check them out according to your country. Netflix sets ratings by the frequency and impact of mature content in a movie or series, such as the amount of violence, sex, adult language, nudity, or substance use that may be present. By setting rating restrictions on your kid's profile, you are automatically filtering out the TV shows or movies above the rating that you set for them. Now, let's say you have kids of different ages in your family. Let's say you have a 15-year-old, um, 8-year-old, and a 4-year-old, plus yourself and your partner. Here, I will suggest you to choose TVY for your preschooler profile, PG for your middle schoolers profile, and TV14 for your teenagers profile. The choice and the power are all yours. Here you can do it. Go to Manage Profiles and click on your child's profile. Under Maturity Settings, click Edit and enter your account password when prompted. Choose the maximum rating that you would like to appear on your child's profile. One thing to mention is that if the kid's profile box is checked, Netflix will only display TV series and movies rated for ages 12 and under, which for the US this means a maximum rating or PG. So in this case, for your teenager, you want the profile's maximum maturity rating to be higher than that. So we we'll leave this kid's profile box unchecked. How to block certain titles. What if you wouldn't like your middle school watch on a specific movie or TV show? 
but it is under the rating you use for him or maybe your child watched it too many times and you just want him to move on to a different TV show. Well, Netflix parental controls allow you to manually block specific movies and series from your child's profile. Following the next steps, go to Manage Profiles and click on your child's profile. Under Maturity Settings, click Edit and enter your account password when prompted. In the box under Titled Restrictions, type the name of the show or movie. Click on the title when it appears, then click Save. Now this will only block the title from the specific profile you're editing. If you want to block it in your other child's profile, you'll need to follow the same steps for each of their profiles. How to log your profile with a PIN. So you have set restrictions according to your children ages by following all the previous suggestions, but there is another thing left to do. Let's be careful with the adult's profile or your profile in this case. We need to make sure our kids cannot enter to our profile. Maybe you trust they won't, but let's remove this temptation. So let's create a pin for our own profile. Start by creating a profile lock pin for your Netflix profile and any other profile you don't want your kids accessing, such as your partners or an older sibling. From a web browser, go to your account and scroll down to profile and parental controls. Click the drop down arrow next to your main account profile and next to profile lock, click change and enter your Netflix password. Check the box to require a PIN to access this profile. Then set your four digit PIN. And actually you want to choose one your kid won't be able to guess. Check the box to require a PIN to add new profiles. Now one thing to mention here is that this option is only available after adding a profile lock PIN to the main profile on your account which is the first one on the list. The last step is extra important. If you don't check the box to require a PIN to add new profiles, then your very smart kids can have the option to get around your parental controls by creating a new profile, which they could even delete once they're done watching Netflix. By requiring a PIN to add new profiles to your account will prevent them from doing this. Now last but not least, this might seem actually very obvious, but keep in mind that you should not share your Netflix account password with your kids. If you do, all the things we just mentioned will not work because with access to your password, they will be able to change and modify any of the parental controls you just added. If your children know your current password already, then I suggest that you change it by following the steps on this video right here. And when it asks you to leave the box checked to require all devices to sign back in with a new password. Also remember to be careful not to check the remember me when logging into Netflix, just for this time. And just to be extra careful, don't allow your web browser or mobile device to save your new password. Chances are your kids might access to your devices. Well, I hope these suggestions and advices help you in managing and setting up the parental controls that work for your family best on Netflix. So this way your mind is at ease. And remember, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to click on the like button and on that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye.